Welcome to Saving Mill. For the first time in many months, it's below 100 degrees today. So that's a cause for celebration. My garage door is open and my shop is working. Very happy about that. So here's what we've got going on this time. So I've got my, I got my table saw out. You may have seen that video. Um, I have it mostly assembled. The fence is on here. This is a really long fence, so it goes to, uh, I believe the cutting capacity is 50 inches on the saw. And so <clears throat> this thing takes up a lot of room and I have to be very creative in how I set this thing up so that I have enough room, you know, to function here in my shop. So what I want to do is have the saw stored along the wall um, right in front of where it is. So right now it's just sitting here. I can't move it. Uh, but I also can't cut in this position. I need to be able to turn it turn it around like this and cut out the door and then I've got my power for it here. I've got the dust collection for it as well. So I gotta put this thing on wheels. Now the bane of woodworkers everywhere is the lack of ability <laughs> or interest to make things out of steel. Now a base like this could be made out of wood but I don't think it's a great idea at all. So the uh, Miller welder and I are going to um, craft a steel rolling base for this thing and I'm going to set it up so that in the future I can add a router table on this end of it uh, to maximize space and I'll probably make so I have a, a sturdy shelf on the bottom so that I can store you know a heavy uh, maybe my sand or something something like that something that's fairly heavy so I'm pretty excited about this I've been wanting to get this saw in here for a long time it's definitely a step up from the, the contractor saw that I had earlier but it's, you know, it's pretty big. It takes up a lot of room. So let's get this thing on wheels. Here we go.
pleased with this thing. I think that worked well. Took a little while. The base is quite heavy, but it also needed to be really strong for this saw. It's a pretty big saw. And I also want to be able to put a shelf, put a shelf on there at some point, maybe. Um, hopefully put a router table on this end. So I wanted to make sure that this end is well supported. All right, so there it is. That's a proper mobile saw stand. Now I've got this stand fully set up. It's in place along the wall. I added the, um, the dust guard on top and I've got the legs on. Everything is secured. The table is leveled on there. So it's, it's flat along the table and it's in its stored position right now. So you can see these casters are locking. That's, that one's locked and then this one is locked. And so these are really easy to unlock. Really, really like these casters. The wheels are uh, pretty good. And I can move this thing. I don't know exactly how much this saw weighs, but I can hold my camera and move this thing with one hand. So I pulled it out from the wall, and this would be in the cutting position. So now I can just lock those casters and I can cut. On this side, it has a dust collection port and so I've got that hooked up the dust collector is functional I can just pop that right on there and because of the fully enclosed cabinet underneath here I can cut something and not have any mess so I am very pleased I've used this a couple of times now I'm very pleased with how it turned out now this piece on the top this Excalibur um, this thing is designed to act both as sort of a safety shield so it will go down against the workpiece and come up and out of the way. It can be adjusted in or out a little bit depending on where it needs to be. And then on this end, I need to hook up um, the dust collection system. I'll run a hard pipe around there, PVC or something like that maybe, and connect it to there so I can have a single port connection for the dust collector. So that's, uh, that's long term. I'll get that done soon, but that piece, um, I was I was glad to get that in, and I think it's going to work just fine. And this is the way to maximize a small shop. Very happy with this thing. It's easy for one person to move this saw around. I can put it there if I need to, or if I wanted to, for some reason, I could cut on this side where I have sort of a work area. But it really opened things up and gave me lots of possibilities here. So very pleased with this thing. Hopefully that inspires you to uh, do something similar, maybe. And there you have it, Saving Miller out.